one that comes up that's practical, useful, so to speak, I think, anyway. Um, when we are, let's say, at home, maybe at the start of the day, it's nice and quiet in the morning, and we're, if, if you're serious, you'll set aside some time for quiet and meditation before you get up and if you got to go to a job or whatever you're doing, whatever kind of work you're going to do. And just to experience that peace, that oneness, stillness, and sort of let life live itself through you, as you. And that's all well and good. It's wonderful. And then we get over the course of the day, pulled out of that, just frankly distracted from it. And you then, you know, that builds up all this sense of separateness and a separate me. And, uh, you know, you're going, doggone, I'm trying my hardest at this. And yet this stuff, uh, and I, it, it makes you sort of want a handle or something. And yet there are no handles. Sometimes the best thing to do is just, I don't need any handles. I don't want any handles. And guess what? Existence is still right here. It didn't go away. Awareness is still perfectly aware. My, my, what a surprise. So you, you just let go. But another one that's, that's I just sort of really clarified in the last couple of years is another, this is a word, but for awareness or consciousness or self is uh, I like it because it doesn't have any kind of form attached to it, or it, it, it's the word aliveness. Just presence aliveness. And this, like this, which is being experienced right now, this aliveness is not, at first it might be a temptation to think this is something that I as a separate self am experiencing. I've got this me and this aliveness. And, and then there's like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. A, it's aliveness itself that's being alive here because Peter does not know how to do that. Emerson is not personally doing that. Yet here it is. So here's aliveness. And so the experiencing of this literally must be life or the self itself because only it can be this. So here it is. Now, one of the things about this aliveness, it's very presence tangible, very palpable, real, and it's always present tense. It absolutely cannot vacate being present. Right here. Impossible. And the other part about it is that it has no objective form really, even calling it aliveness in a way is a little bit of a form or objective, you know, but for just sake of talk right now, we'll cut ourselves some slack. So here's this aliveness and another way of sort of working with this is it's invisible. So here is this ever presence and it's invisible. And this is you. This is real you. Absolutely can never leave you because it's, it's itself, actually. It never can leave itself because it's all the presence there is. It's eternal. It's changeless. It's not in time. And this presence, if you really dial in on it, notice closely, it never moves. It's a stillness. It's not really like a stillness that spills all space. It maybe seems that way, but it's just an immediacy of this invisible stillness, but which is alive, very specifically alive. Okay, now, just as a little uh, sort of experience, being consciously alive as this invisible aliveness, take, take one of your hands, and just move it back and forth in front of the face. Okay, but stay with the invisible. See, there's a temptation to let attention go to the visible and the movement, right? And now you can do this. But with a little sort of practice, 
and really just for the for the fun it's actually this is easier is just rest as this ungo awayableness of invisible aliveness and the more you just sort of rest back as this which ain't budging ever 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 no matter where the body goes you can get the body up and move it around the room sometimes in these talks we have we do like little exercises like that to get it's like you're you're making a transition of attention from the invisible uh, from the visible to the invisible and by this is bad anchoring as this invisible which you come to find can't not be it can't go away you're always there always and you're not you know you're experiencing you're tasting more and more not getting pulled out because it's it's getting seduced and just simply distracted by all the movement that pulls us out of our ever present calm invisibility and movement by the way can be not only physical movement like this or the body moving around a room it could be sitting somewhere and watching cars go by on the highway watch if you're in a coffee shop watching the bodies go by on the sidewalk outside or it could be thought movement it could be a movement of emotions it could be verbal movement of words you know and yet the entire time all this movement 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 i'm not taking the bait anymore baby i'm just hanging out here and it's um one time this thought sort of flashed in only the only thing of value because this is the presence of the self itself the only thing of importance is this unmoving invisibility and own that and it was like this feeling of this this or just this releasing of all of this false giving attention to and value to and power to all of these things in the realm of movement and it is it was just the coolest kind of feeling in a way it's like i'm not awed by any of you this invisibility i i'm not yeah that's what it is nothing that you can do in the way of movement of any type is going to put me in awe of you because this is the value love that that's brilliant